Tori Marrero, and today I want to talk about being in a hurry. When I was growing up, my grandmother had this trivet hanging up in her kitchen, and it said, the hurrier I go, the behinder I get. And when I was a little kid, I did not understand that at all. I was like, wait, what? You're in a hurry. Of course you're going to go faster. What does that even mean? <laughs> and then, being an adult, I know exactly what it means. When we get to in a hurry and we try to take shortcuts, it backfires on us sometimes. And it's kind of like um, this song by um, Brandy Carlisle. And there's a line in it that says, the path of least resistance is catching up with me today. So this is one of the reasons I talk in another video about what I call smart steps. I don't love the word shortcut. Shortcuts are not always the answer, right? It is faster, more efficient, and um, you can be in a hurry if you go through the drive through but is that really the best thing you could be doing for your body to have that fast food? No. So shortcuts are not always the answer. Sometimes it takes extra steps, like going to the farmer's market, that actually require a little bit more time but are better for you in the long run. To me, that's a smart step. So I talked about that in another video, but I wanted to bring it up today because sometimes we get in a hurry and even if we're not even trying to take a shortcut, the fact that we're trying to race through traffic or beat the clock or something makes us make a lot of stupid mistakes. And if we just slowed down and did things intentionally, deliberately, and did them correctly, then we wouldn't have to do them over. <laughs> so think about that today and this week as you go through your life and work and see where maybe taking the shortcut isn't the best answer and how you could slow down, breathe, and accomplish the same thing without the stress. Enjoy your week and I'll see you next time. May you always be happy and grateful for having more than enough. Mm -hmm.